What is going on guys, it's your boy D1 Snipes here today and what we're going to be talking about is the Iron Banner and what's been fixed. Uh, so first things first, uh, what you guys are watching is my very first control game. Uh, this went pretty well I think anyway. Um, I think I ended up with like 25 kills. Had a really good KD, played the objective well. And all around, the other team was, I thought they were pretty good, gun skill wise. Teamwork, you could tell they were just kind of random, they weren't sure what exactly they, uh, the other people on their team were doing. But that's beside the point. So, um, what I want to discuss, in the Iron Banner, it is so much more important that you have powerful weapons. Um, weapons win games right now in the Iron Banner um, I don't think it's as much armor uh, I've heard that you deal like a percentage less if you're like level 29, 28, 27 all the way down but what I've come to find out is it doesn't really matter it does but it doesn't if you're level 30 you're gonna destroy uh, that's that's just how it is if you've worked hard for your gear you've grinded it out uh, you're gonna destroy but at the same time if you've grinded it out to the point where you're level 30 you're pretty decent at the game anyway um, I know a lot of guys that are level 30s that don't even touch PvP just because it's pointless um, just because they don't like the multiplayer aspect uh, I, I can honestly say I feel the same, especially for Destiny. I'm more of a PvE guy when it comes to this game anyway. Uh, it's just not my thing. I don't know. It's fun for me, but it, I don't feel like I'm accomplishing much after every game. And I know that's that kind of sounds weird because you're always working towards a reputation. But I really feel that it's not. it's still not rewarded enough. Um, one other thing is the uh, the armor and the shaders. So I believe that the shaders are the same. Uh, you get a class item. <sighs> Not really a big deal. I've looked at two of them. They didn't really look that cool or that much different than anything else. So I'm not really that excited about it. Um, another thing is the armor. Uh, Here's my first thought when I heard that you could get to level 30 from the uh, from the Iron Banner guy. So I was super excited about this. I had uh, I have the arms and the leg armor pieces, and I have an exotic chest piece for my warlock. And I've done the raid for three weeks in a row, and I cannot get another chest piece, either a legendary, and I cannot get a helmet. Now, I know the helmet's only on the hard, but I've beat Atheon, I think, four times pushing him off the edge, and just nothing happens. I don't, I don't get it. Uh, I mean, for me, I like this game. I like playing this game. I like grinding for the gear, but there comes a point when you just get tired of it, and some people may call me, oh, you don't, you just don't put enough time in, you don't do this, you don't do that. I mean, I feel like after 130 hours into a game, you should be max level. No matter, no matter what, no matter what you're doing. Like, if you're killing, like, beginning level characters and just getting 5 XP, and at some point you should get... <laughs> You should be able to, even if you're doing the hardest thing on the game, which is the raid, you should get that gear at some point. And it's really frustrating to me, and I know a couple other guys that I play with regularly are super frustrated. They've been stuck on level 29 for literally weeks, and it's just really frustrating to know that as soon as we get to level 30, uh, it could be next week, we could get to level 30, and then, oh wait, we're gonna raise the level cap so it's it's super frustrating that there are a ton of people stuck on level 29 and I thought by 
this Iron Banner guy coming that we were going to get the option to get like a helmet or maybe a chess piece that's been eluding some people and to really get them over that edge and I thought maybe it would be kind of expensive maybe some modes of light maybe a lot of strange coins but no it's it's relatively cheap uh, and it's just the arms and legs uh, so the arm, Iron Banner vendor does not I repeat he does not sell uh, the chest or headpiece which is really disappointing to me somebody that's been stuck on I have two level 29's uh, I have well technically three but I have two warlocks and a titan that I use and the only reason I even made the second warlock was so that I could get to level 30 faster so really I've put in double the amount of raids as some people and I still have yet to get to level 30 which just really really disappoints me um, but as far as the idea of the Iron Banner, Iron Banner getting you to level 30 I think it's it's really well done uh, like I said the weapons do win games so if you have a fully upgraded Ciro's regime if you have a fully upgraded uh, Avion's epilogue if you have a fully upgraded corrective measure uh, you're gonna win a lot of gunfights especially if you have just just minimal aim um, here I was using the epilogue I thought I had my uh, regime with me and maybe I do I do check the menu here uh, well maybe I already did it in the video but <clears throat> I carried it in here uh, planning on using it but I had the epilogue I started okay so I just decided to stick with it um, the let's see what else do we have to talk about all oh, the bounties in the Iron Banner, they are much more simple and much more easy for a lot uh, more... How do I say this? I don't want to say unskilled players, but there was a lot of bounties in the last Iron Banner that, that, you're, that your average player just isn't going to get. I mean, I, it'd be very rare. I mean, there's a couple bounties here, like a 10 kill streak. A 10 kill streak is honestly hard to do in this game because in order to get some kills you need to be up up near the objective and you need to play the objective to win the game anyway and that's your main main goal but to get those 10 kill streaks uh, you see I do it off the break right here I mean very first game I played in the Iron Banner I did it but I'm also a very experienced objective player uh, for any game so I understand how to work the objective and get kills around it um, all while helping my team win rather than being like a selfish sniper that kind of sits in the back so as you watch this gameplay kind of pay attention to that maybe a little tip on how to get some of these uh, these bounties um, one of them I believe is get uh, I think it's just like melee kills uh, headshots headshots with the machine guns just real simple stuff and then there is uh, the 10 kill streak which I th I think I think I saw as the hardest one. There's an experience one. Get four or five thousand experience in the Iron Bounty. Pretty simple stuff, I think. And <clears throat> for the most part, I think this is really well done. I think it's. I still think it's very balanced. I think it's a fair balancing system. If you go in at a level 26, uh, you're gonna get a, you're gonna get thrashed on if you don't have the weapons. But if you have the weapons you can compete uh, no doubt in my mind so if you guys uh, thought this gameplay was any good if you guys uh, agree or disagree with anything that I said uh, please uh, leave it in the comments below and uh, thank you guys so much for watching uh, I really like doing these um, let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you on the next one